I'm Druid. Oh, okay. Oh, we're gonna go with Slark instead. Gap close onto this Medusa, and they might try and attempt when Envy gets a few levels. SVG is gonna be closed on here. Looks like Ohio does manage to hit the crush. They follow up and will easily bring him down. First blood going to Fnatic. Utilize. Oh, they do manage to catch Ohio and Keeper of the Light still not coming back. Go Ohio's gonna have to sprint himself away. Unable to hit the crush there. SVG stops at mid animation. A constant nuisance now with the level two blast. Quickly disables the south, but he is gonna be caught here. SVG does manage to get it with a frostbite. Nice crush, but it's still not enough as the Slark still had that death back going. But Ohio, Ohio looking to chase him down, but he doesn't really have that much support. In fact, it's going to be Eternal Envy cutting through the shrine here. Ohio is going to play around. This is the crush. What a play from Eternal Envy, but there is the shrine turn around. The Queen of Pain is going to be able to jump forward. The charge is coming through. They can't quite finish off SVG. A big blast holding on to it. Ohio hits the stun and barely walks outside range. Now the ultimate goes off and Rose may just use that as an escape until Glimpse pulls him right back in, but still, he got the kill he was looking for. Once again, the Slardar is going to be kept away from that precious Blink Dagger. His smoke's going to break. He knows on the south side. He's holding for now while the rest of his heroes are going to try and back him up. They still have this Shadow Blade in. Here might have seen him. And so they do manage to get the charge outside the kinetic field. Rose is going to be brought back, it looks like, by a glimpse. But AUI is going to start coming forward, maybe they're trying to help out Rose, or maybe they're just going to give him up. AUI comes forward now. They're going to go straight for Yamate, but does manage to get off his ultimate. But it may not be enough. It looks like the Queen of Pain gets off the ult, but it's just not enough. Mushi, he pops his ultimate, trying to survive through all of this. But MV is big, and he's going in time. Oh, the CM will be able to hit both. CM does something, AUI but it's not enough. AUI managed to get out and MP very clearly wiped Fnatic. Which probably has a lot more value as a high ground defender uh, because of those shrines. Extra value. Yeah, and at the bottom. Oh, nice stun there. They might just be able to finish off this Aegis of Eternal Envy, but it is just an Aegis, and he does manage to catch Mushi in place long enough for the rest of NP to make their rotation. Oh, the vacuum for Mushin. Nice vacuum into the wall, but the ultimate's already going out from the Medusa, hoping to be able to slow down these heroes. AUI just continuing to focus him down, though, with the BKB. will bring down the big carry of Fnatic, while the rest get cleaned up by Eternal Envy. He's picked up two, going for a third, and your dream does manage to blink himself away just in time, but he's trying to stay outside of vision to make sure he doesn't get caught. It is going to be blinked on. They need a charge, and there it is. In your dream, he's gonna have a hard time escaping from this one. Kills the creep that they were trying to boot to travel onto. Oh, they want and this. We'll get to the shrine, but the charge is still gonna come through. Hits that one, pops an Necronomicon. Oh, the mana burn through his mana, and they are gonna be able to latch him down long enough for the kill. AY picks up a wicked six streak, 25 to 8. As top, Bebby is the hero that you definitely want to kill. He's the one holding the pushes back. With the Macronomicon, it should be easy, but they do manage to stop that ultimate. Rose is going to be held in place for quite some time. Does manage to still hit Febby with the Necronomicons on top. They will be able to get that kill. Rose is backing himself away. They'd amplify damage. It is just enough for Mushi to be able to get that one kill. And AUI actually got locked in by the Mushi ultimate. But they've been grouped up in the vacuum wall combination, and that allows the Ember Spirit to do big, big damage. They're going to try and chase Mushi in. Diving for the Shrine does manage to get that one up. The Shrine hits value here, but it's just not enough. The damage is too big from NP. SVG lets it go. Now the buybacks start coming out from Fnatic as they desire to hold that tier 3 tower for, for now, but it's going to be coming at a big cost of their net worth. <laughs> All right, the Crystal Maiden's going to take the gank once again. They bring in the Medusa, but she blinks back. Still going to be hit by Ohio. The charge in. Nice hit. What a bowling ball there from Rose. Does manage to knock out these heroes. And Ultimate comes out for the Queen of Pain, but it just doesn't seem to be enough. And Ultimate from Mushi buys some time, but there's just none of these heroes from NP that are low enough. They've killed Crystal Maiden, but NP are cleaning up all of the help of Mushi. They're going to try and charge in once again. Now the Crush comes out on a two. But again, NP, they just seem so tanky. They don't care about Mushi's damage. They're just going to be able to wipe out all the supporting crew behind Mushi and leave him for last. NP, wipe out Fnatic there and we'll get the last couple of desserts there. Bevy, he'll go down as well. That'll be a gem dropped as well. Feel any power of Fnatic to be able to stop this push. Nice jump forward there from Eternal Envy, seeing the opportunity to get that extra pick. Yamate not respecting the distance that Eternal Envy would go to secure an extra kill. Now they're going to be able to get that lane of racks for free for sure. And we'll still have to see whether or not they're going to buy back on the Dusa. 25 seconds left, but the Slardar and the Keeper of the Light just coming up now. There are just sentries everywhere right now. Is Envy got a chance going up? Starts the initiation on Ibushi. He's going to be able to get some damage out, but it's just the Fnatic actually can't really do much to respond. Ohio. Kind of sitting on the side waiting for his blink dagger to come up already. Mushi's been dropped so low. He's going to be able to keep that Medusa in place for quite some time until they hit the crush. Now the vacuum comes out and they are going to be able to get away with the turtle empty. And the turnaround happens with the big wall. Once again, the off lane from NP just comes in at the perfect time. They'll lock down Mushi as well. Pops fans, pops BKB. Still cannot get back to the fountain. And that'll be no buyback. 
for NP. A great static storm, but it means nothing if there's no damage to follow it up. NP very easily take this game. What an absolute shellacking is. NP just rolled through Fnatic. Fnatic only taking one tower in a game like this. Just were not able to utilize their lineup whatsoever. That's right, we're heading into Fnatic and NP. But as I say that at mid, He's getting quite low. If AUI just chases this down, he could just get first blood. One more hit will do it. He makes sure he gets the clap. They do manage to get a small fairy fire, but that's not going to be enough. Just because Decay, not really too efficient to grab. A smoke and some damage coming out. They're going to wait. Eternal Levy, they're going to pull him back. They do have a Static Storm. So this time around, it felt like it took ages. Yeah, this is very well done by him. And I really like this. They're finally getting utility out of this uh, Disruptor as MSS up at top. He's, He's got to notice that he's taking a lot of damage here. Ohio, he tries to get the surge away and is running out. They do manage to turn around onto Febby, who's getting a lot of damage with that Ion Shell onto MSS. He's still going to try and go for the kill. He does have his ult. Does have his ult. He's got it. Febby gets the killing spree, and he's still going to try and get away. They do not have a whole lot of counter vision to work with. There goes one Dust. Doesn't have a leap up, so he is going to fall here. But indeed, Eternal Levy finally brings it down, but it's enough. Bottom lane is now going to be the go. Rose, he's already going to get popped. They pull AUI back into the Static Storm, but he quickly gets out and runs his way to Yamate. That's one kill, but he's trapped inside the trees. Does fine in your dream, but he's already out. And now AUI is stuck inside the trees against some illusions, an illusion of his own, really. AUI speeding along is going to be able to catch Ohio next as NP actually managed to make that team fight work for them, despite the early loss of their undying. Got an Aegis on this or side. Oh, this would be big. They can actually here. kill Febby, who has the life dealer inside of him. He already pops out, but he gets caught. MSS does manage to lock him down with the ultimate. They're going to drop the golems as well, looking for the twofer. Nice back in with the away. They can't keep the heroes inside the kinetic field. It looks like NP can keep Mark. Marching forward, speaking of March, MSS only dies to the March. But NP seem hesitant to move down to that bottom side of the map. Oh, NP, oh. don't go up this cliff. He's going up the cliff, and he's going to be caught in the south and the back. He's static storm, but the combination catches two. They'll take both, and NP have no real response. Maybe they do. Hey, why is he going to jump forward fearlessly, go for Mushi, commitment. but now he's going to be caught by the laser, and he really just doesn't have it. He's going to be kind of round, goes for Yamate. Looks like he'll be able to get that one kill. MS says he's focusing on Mushi, almost got off the roar, but he doesn't get it. The smoke screen stops him, and Mushi turns around and claims his captor's life. That's going to be four down from NP. Now, you're so close to being alive anyways as Rose buying a little bit of time for here. himself, but the Shrine just isn't going to be enough to heal him up, or is it? He's looking for the second Shrine, but Mushi, he finally claims that kill. Quick aggression after a pickoff like that, but it seems like NP are not going to leave too many heroes trailing. AY is actually running in your dream. This is a good opportunity to be able to take him down. They've already got the Tinker dead, but the rest of the NP is going to be a little bit lacking. Now they get the Golem down. Rose was the target, but he's still keeping himself alive. Mushi is now already down to half health. Gets bashed up now. Here comes the Static Storm. Vacuum combination. A big play coming out from down. They turn the fight, and maybe the Earth is still going out, but he's going to get kited around, going for Ohio, trying to catch him out. AUI, a sliver of HP that he's working off. The Earth is finally going to take him out with the Thunder Strike. Bye-bye, Aegis and P. They look to be able to catch a little bit more. Yamate is going to be chased out here. He's going to be enough. Eternal Envy. Oh, blink back. TP out. They're not going to catch him. Yamate actually gets away. So many of these heroes have no buyback here. They've got the high ground though. wrap around, but the high ground is already sitting there. Rose is immediately going to pop out the tombstone. The initiation is a bit of a whiff. They already have Ursa trying to challenge heroes on the side. They're going to pop out now, but it, that is not initiation they wanted. And Mushi is immediately going to be roared up as well as the Golem oh, drops. So Mushi far away so now. far down. They're actually going to be losing Mushi in a second here, and they're going to look for more. Yamate gets caught. That's going to be the Ursa cleaning up the extra kill. He turns and collects Mushi's death as well. That's going to be three down from Fnatic, and they cannot bear to lose this Tinker. <laughs> They're actually not going to lose any tier 3 dirt tower damage. NP. They're still going to try and stay grouped up here. They don't want to risk what happened last time. AUI is actually at the high ground, but they are going to go for the Fanatic Static Storm combination, but it's only on an Ursa. He does have the combination, but he can't quite get the cheese off. Maybe he'll die to this damage over time. The jump forward, the Riki's not quite enough. Now the Golem gets dropped, and the turnaround happens. The rest of MP come forward. Mushi battling up against Eternal Envy. He has the MKB, but it's just not enough against those two heroes plus the Golems. He gets beaten down to a pulp, only to three heroes of Fnatic. AUI on the front lines here. Oh, actually jumps forward, actually gets brought back because the Lotus Orb, the Blink Strike, they're going to be able to get the Static Storm combination on top of the two cores. That is a nasty death. Fnatic, they're going to have to try and somehow kill Eternal Envy. He's going to pop the BKB, but they get the official plate onto him. Bradley Roar coming out, not quite in time. A Scythe of Ice stops MSS, but they still manage to get Eternal Envy back. NP will start the retreat. Some sort of weird surprise initiation on NP. MSS is actually just out a bit too far. He's going to be caught here. Abyssal Blade locked down. 
An easy kill, BKB running himself away. Maybe it's not so easy to turn around Primal Roar onto Mushi, and they do jump forward. A nice four stab trying to kite around AUI during this BKB timer. They get Mushi to safety. And P, Yamate. they having a hard time. They're going to pop their shrines here just to make sure they're still ready to fight. Yamate, he makes a jump forward, actually failing to get the glimpse there. As the, the Lincoln Spear managed to block that one. They're going to be able to catch Yamate. Lock him down. Oh, he no. falls. Now Febby's going to drop as well. The gold stream forward, looking for extra kills. Ohio's going to be target here. Eternal Envy, if he can hit this arrow, It'll be a big extra kill, and he locks it down. What is going on? One buyback already being used by the Dark Seer, but NP, they're gonna try and force. Look how fast those, Jesus. Attack, those golems are going insane. The glyph is gonna be able to buy them some they're time, magic, but that's a level 25 warlock. Yeah. Fortunately, the golems are about to be dropped here. Five seconds. Mushi's going to try and battle them here, but the rape's about to wear off. There goes the Abyssal Blade. Can they actually get the combos done? There goes the Primal Roar, and Mushi is down. The vacuum does very little. They get the wall out, but Fanatics, they just don't really get a grasp on anything. Eternal Envy, maybe he's the target, but they don't actually manage to lock him down. NP, they got what they wanted out of that. Go for a straight up push. Is Eternal Envy going to be the target? Bebby, are you going to go for this? You're going to be able to get the jump in. Abyssal Blade already breaking through that Lincoln, but Eternal Envy does manage to get out he of the pops. DK Boo. Oh my god, how is he jumping forward like this? He's just man moding up and he'll still hit the arrow. arrow. Oh, she ran into it. Ohio's going to come in to get the Static Storm out, but they don't manage to get the vacuum. He refreshes up, still trying to catch these heroes. Y Yabate's not going to be able to get the opportunity for a second Static, static Storm. He cannot no, afford to die here. Trying to catch these extra heroes. Ohio turns around, throws out the wall vacuum, but he gets eliminated immediately. Tinker trying to make his way back, hoping to be able to buy enough space Bushi for Mushi. does Bushi not have retreat, travels. But he doesn't have travels. He's only working on face boots. He's going to be caught here. He does have an offense, but he's just not up in time. He's down for two minutes. There's any hero that can just throw bodies right now. Are right, he just going to go straight for tier fours at a certain point? They're focusing on the, the Raxes at mid for now, but I think you're Eternal Envy's made the call. They're going straight for tier fours. Where's and the hold? In your dream, is just not in the position to be able to stop this. They've already taken out one tier four. going way too fast. He needs to be able to... Oh, the golem's just being dropped just to get the extra damage. This throne is going to be dropped so damn quickly. MSN jumped in. Already managed to get one. Rose going to be caught inside the static storm. They managed to get the big on dying, but it doesn't matter. The damage dealers are focusing on the throne. In your dream, he throws himself in front of the throne, desperately trying to stop this push, but it's not going to happen. MP, they'll claim game number two and close out this series. Jeez. After 74 long... Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in tears.